ISO FileMaker Magazine, the professional's resource for FileMaker know-how. Hey there, Matt Petrowski here for ISO FileMaker Magazine, teaching you about learning FileMaker. And in this video, you came here for learning about Get Window Mode. So let's dive right in and take a look. So in this FileMaker database, I've only got two simple fields. I'll bring up the defined database. I am simply going to return the results of a text field, which we can see right there is aptly named calculation. It's a text field, and I've got a calculated field running and evaluate the contents of that calculation. Now I'll show you the other way and probably the better way in order to do this, and that is to use the data viewer. But right here we can see on screen get window mode. When I type this into the calculation, returns a result of zero. Now that isn't super helpful to us unless we use the documentation. But if you haven't turned them on yet for your copy of FileMaker, you want to have access to this menu right here called Tools. We can do that by going up to the Preferences, which when I access, we want to make sure that if we haven't turned it on yet in the general area here in FileMaker 19 and later, we have turned on Use Advanced Tools, and that will require a reset. You can find that under the Edit menu, preferences if you're on Windows. So with that turned on and using our tools, we can go to our all important data viewer. And in our data viewer, we can create a watch variable here in the watch pane. I click the little plus sign and that's going to create a new area for me to type in a FileMaker calculation. Typing it in get window mode returns again the result of zero. Same thing we saw in our FileMaker database. Now, even if we looked for window mode over here, we can see that FileMaker is going to give us a description of returns a number representing the mode the FileMaker product is in when it's not helpful. What is helpful is FileMaker's documentation. Now, whether you download the documentation or you use it from accessing the help menu, that is what we need. We need FileMaker's help. When it loads up, then at the bottom of the front page, we're going to scroll down. There are two important things function reference and script steps. In this case, it's a function. We click on the function reference and here in the browser, I don't want to use the search feature that's built natively into FileMaker's help. I want to use the search feature within the actual browser, command or control F. I'm going to type in window mode. That's going to jump to that actual function, which we can see right there. I click on that. That's going to load it up. It's going to tell me the function, what it expects as a parameter. All of FileMaker's environment functions don't really expect a parameter. What's going to be returned, a number type, and then what it actually returns. This is the part that we are interested in. I am actually going to highlight all of this, copy it, and go over to FileMaker. Back in FileMaker, I can open up that data viewer again, go into that particular function by double clicking, and here within this, I can actually put in a comment. FileMaker has two ways to comment. It has a double slash for a single line comment, or I can actually put in a block comment, which starts with a backslash, a star, then a paste, then a star and a closing slash. So this is what's actually commenting out FileMaker code. But here, I can actually use the information that's valuable to me now in order to do something, get window mode. So if the window mode is zero, it's browse mode. If it's one, find mode. If it's two, it's preview mode, and then printing and so forth, evaluating the function. Quite honestly, these latter ones really aren't going to be helpful to you. And if you really want to know, the only two that are helpful are going to be this. These two are going to be the most helpful sometimes you're going to want to use number two for preview mode. So let's put these into practice. Let's actually see how we can use those. Well, between browse and find mode, one of the most useful things is knowing and informing the user when they go into find mode. And this is where I have used it the most. You, of course, can use this within any of the areas of FileMaker's calculation engine, or you can use this within the script. Uh, we'll take a look at the two. So I'm gonna copy this. I went back into the calculation and we are going to use one of the most simple. In FileMaker, we have the two different modes. So when we go up here, we've got our view menu. We are going to be either in browse mode or in find mode. We can see that find mode is command F versus browse mode. So knowing get window mode will tell us what mode we're in, let's go ahead and do something super simple. I'm going to go into layout mode. 
I'm going to create a text block by selecting this, and I'm going to put just some text. Searching for dot, dot, dot. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with this text block selected, I'm going to right-click on this, and what we're going to have is an option for conditional formatting, like we find in Excel, where you can say, if this cell is equal to these contents, make the cell color green or make it red. I have access in order to do things using FileMaker's calculation engine. But this isn't the only place that I can do something. I can also determine whether or not this should show. So let's put this really big. I'm going to make this bold and I'm going to scroll this out to the side. In fact, I'm going to put this, let's say I'm using my header for something useful, but I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to change this just a little bit. I'm going to say, you're searching for and I'm going to move this one down just a little bit right here. In fact, let's make this so obvious that it's going to be, we're going to set the color to a solid fill. I'll make that red, and I'm going to make the text white. And just because I really want to be obvious, I'm going to make this stretch all the way across the screen. And it's okay if it's hanging out a little bit. If I wanted it to be exact, I could use the position values right here, and I could say, I could click off of the object and say, what's the width of my layout? When nothing is selected, FileMaker tells me the width right there. It's 1024. I can select on it and I say, well, I want this to be exactly 1024, the exact width of the layout. and Get that right dead on there, even though it looks like it's a little bit off. I'm going to, with this selected, also use the auto sizing feature because if the window was larger than 1024, I want to make sure that that will zoom out. But with this here... There is an area of FileMaker that beyond the conditional formatting that I have access to where I could conditionally change this based on the window mode. More importantly, I don't want this to show in browse mode. If I go into browse mode with Commander Control B, it says you're searching for. Well, I'm not in find mode. I'm not searching for anything, but I know that get you get window mode will determine what mode FileMaker's in. So I go into layout mode, I select this object that's why it was hanging off is because it wasn't right at the zero zero. I just moved that over. So we do get an exact positioning there. Thank you very much. With this selected and going to this fourth area, I am going to find as I scroll up the field, this one area called behavior where I can hide an object when and I have access to the calculation engine. So I simply click this and what do I type in? Get window mode. Window and it's one where I need to type in most everything. Now, I've already forgotten what it was, but I remember I copied that comment onto my clipboard. This is where having and accessing the help is really, really helpful. So I can remember right here, if get window mode is zero for browse, and I want to hide it when we are in browse mode. So, and I'll make a comment right there for myself right there. So if get window mode equals browse, what am I going to do? And I'm going to leave my comment right here with a block comment. Then we are going to hide this. So this says, let's read it, hide object when get window mode equals browse, which means this is not going to show in find mode. So we go into browse mode and it has disappeared. What happens when I go into find mode? I just did that with Commander Control F. You are searching for. So this is one of the most obvious ways. And I don't like that that little white line is right there. I'm gonna go into hide mode right here and make sure and bump that over. There we go, let's go back into find mode, there it is. This is one of the best ways to use get window mode. It's when the user is switching between find mode and uh, browse mode, and you want to give the user some type of clear indication. In fact, you can even hide things. Let's say, for example, it doesn't make sense for them to be able to search this particular field in find mode. Well, let's just switch our logic. We'll go over to the exact same area, our behavior. We'll use our hide object win, and we'll click on that little pencil icon. Um, I'll paste this again. I've got all of that. I'll simply put some lines, and I'll say get window mode. 
and we'll say in this case we are going to hide this when the mode is find so in this case we're going to say equals one find mode right here so what's going to happen oops i forgot all of my comment i didn't block comment that out in fact in this case i don't need it anymore i'm just going to get rid of it i'm getting used to all of these functions and i'm leaving myself good notes when i go into find mode now did that hide? Ah, it did not hide. Why did it not hide? I didn't check the box. So let's go ahead and do that. We go back into layout mode. We select our field and there it is right there. I needed to choose this option to apply this calculation when in find mode. So with this box checked, I'm now going to get the inverse effect. I go into browse mode. I go into find mode. And guess what happens? I can no longer use this field to search because it doesn't make sense for the user to be able to search that field because I don't want them to. But yet, they can search this field. So that is the number one way that we can use get uh, window mode in order to control the visibility of something either in or not in find mode. What would we do in scripts? Well, it's the same thing. We're going to go into our script workspace. We're going to go create the little script right here. Click the plus with a new script. And I'm just going to type in window mode. And here again, you are in most cases going to be using an if statement. If get window mode. And then here you could just do the exact same thing. Equals zero. We will type in browse. We would do, I'm going to put a comment here. A comment function. Do something, something in browse mode. And again, we could have an else if, and that could be else, and we could simply beg, borrow, and steal, simply copy this and say, if it's find mode, then we would do this. And remember, this increases. If we wanted to do the same thing, we could have an else if, and we could say else if it is preview mode. And here's where you're going to do one of the very simple things. Now remember, you can, when you go into preview mode, this becomes really helpful when you're doing things um, that you're printing, where if I was to go up to the view mode and go into preview mode, notice that we've got that searching right here for this particular layout. If I didn't want that to show, I simply need to modify my calculation. Let's go ahead and do that. Go into layout mode. We will select this. It's on the hide right here. In this case, what would we do? We could do one of two things. And this is an important thing. I'm glad that you're paying attention. I could say, I want to hide this searching thing when get window mode is equal to zero or get window mode is equal to two meaning preview. Now in this case, I really only want to account for the one time when I want it to show right here of one, but I have five possible options, meaning my or could keep going. I could be going, you know, or this, or that, or another thing. In other words, I would have to account for however many different possibilities there are. Well, if I really only want this to show in one mode, there's a little bit easier way to do this. And it is basically right here. It comes in the form of accounting for the inverse of your situation. In other words, we are going to hide this in any mode when it does not equal. And FileMaker has these really nice little operators right here that we can see. There's two different ways that you can put in the not equals. So in this case, if I switch my thinking to say, if it does not equal the find mode, then that means it's going to hide in all other modes. In other words, with one little operator switch, I get to do the same thing as, or this mode, or that mode, or this, that, however many modes. So it's just a little bit of switch in your logic or in your uh, thinking. Now I do have to change this to comment that one is for find, but let's read what we're saying you are going to hide when the get window mode does not equal find, meaning everything else you're going to hide. But if you're in find mode, you're going to go ahead and show. And so what will happen is this will now account for browse mode as well as preview mode, and it does not show. But if I go into find mode, there it is right there. 
And this is essentially how we can use the get window mode function. I hope this has helped you out. And if you're looking for more information, you'll find more videos here on YouTube, or you can always visit my website, filemakermagazine.com. Much luck and happy file making. We hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial, and we'd like to say thank you for your subscription and your support. If you're not already a subscriber, head on over to www.filemakermagazine.com slash subscribe for more information about the benefits of joining.